Investing in, in customers is just as important, important as investing in people internally. Our ability to invest in clients, you know, giving them our personal ideas, giving them our opinions, um, and showing that willingness to help them grow, um, I think in return provides a much better relationship to them, and provides a better understanding of what we're actually trying to help them accomplish. Uh, so investing in them is just as important to us as uh, implementing their software correctly, just as important as consulting with them correctly. Um, everything else we do is also, um, we have that in mind as well. If you aren't focused on your customers, you're going to get left behind. So if your customers are changing, or they're moving in a different direction, or they're feeling a different way about your product, and you don't research that or look into that, um, or change to, to accommodate that, you're going to get left behind. So how much, you know, I don't know a number, but it needs to be something that's always on your radar. Otherwise, your product will eventually become not something that they desire. We have to do what's best for the customer. You know, Russell always talks about being wise, kind of foolish, you know, that's, uh, for our customers, he always gives that advice, but, uh, you know, we, we need to follow that advice as well. And, that will overall benefit the customers so that the customer is happy so the customer refers us and we get more customers from them. So if we charge them that, that little bitty thing, uh, you know, overcharge them, uh, you know, they're not going to want to ask us for the next thing in the future. I mean, if, if we burn our customers, they, they're not going to want to deal with us. And two, they're never going to grow. If they never grow, then what can we say about our software? You know, if, if we have a company that's, that's stagnant because they don't want to approach us about, uh, you know, adding on more modules or, um, you know, improving their processes or, you know, getting a, a five-person job down to three-people job. Um, and if we can't say that we've done that for them, we, ha we have nothing. We have no bragging rights. We have no, um, we have no leverage to, uh, you know, we have no picture to paint for other potential no, I think it's uh, going out and seeing them, talking to them, dinners, meetings, how are you doing, knowing, knowing their families. I mean, I try to, I try to get down where I can know, uh, you know, our clients' families and if they're willing to allow us to get that close, uh, you know, but be concerned in their personal life too, you know, invest in them, invest time. It's more, investing time, investing in your customers is more than just money. It's more, you know, anybody can give a dollar. I mean, we're all customers of some company, right, so we all like to feel valued. Um, a company that doesn't value their customers, you know, a lot of times the customer, customers can be like, why should I even be, why should I have your business? That kind of thing. So investing in customers is a big deal. And in a way, we are all in customer service. I know a lot of, a lot of other companies will have a very contractual relationship with their customers. Everything is we give you this, you give us this, and everything is on paper, you know, very, very, very legalistic, very contract based. Um, and while that's important, you know, to protect both parties, I think here at Avis we have a much more family approach to, to how we deal with our customers. We, we are going to make arrangements, you know, by contract still, but there is a there's a family aspect to what we're doing. We want our customers to succeed. We want us to succeed. We can do that together. And, and so there's a lot more give and take with uh, working with customers and, and what, what their needs are, what our needs are. And I find that we, you know, we are more willing than, than any company I've ever worked with to, to meet in the middle or to come up with a compromise or to, to give a little in order to make some gains down the road. Um, those, kind of, those kind of relationships that we build with our customers uh, are, are closer to a family relationship. That's what we want.